Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. I know there's probably hundreds of reviews on this already. So I'm probably not going to get a whole bunch of views on this, but that's just fine. Um, I'm struggling to find any product that I can jump the curve on right now. So just going to have to deal with it, which is fine. That's just how life is. So, yeah, Oreo came out with these the other day. Tiramisu flavored cream Oreos. Um, well, I'm pretty excited about these. I haven't really read into reviews, so I don't really know if they're good or not. But my expectation is, yeah, they'll be really good. Um, as for any plans for Oreos beyond this... It might be quite some time, not because of COVID, just because of how they plan things out, um, which is fine, but I kind of wish they would have waited to release some of these things because they've released a lot. Nabisco's released a lot of things in general, so I'm just wondering what's to come after this over these next few months. Um, we were supposed to get Olympic Oreos, which are the only ones that are new that I had heard about like, you know, to that extent. Like, I don't know what's coming after that. I don't think a lot of people do for Oreo. I, there's no expectation of the in-between. I don't even know if those Olympic Oreos are still coming out. Big question about seasonal Oreos because no spring seasonal Oreos have been released. There's Easter and then there's Trolls. And then you got the the new thins, the dark chocolate fans, and then you got the latte thin minis covered in dark chocolate. Um, and there was another one I thought maybe. No? I don't know. I don't care. All I know is they didn't bring back my spring Oreos. And they better bring back my summer Oreos. Or I'm gonna get mad. Anyways, yeah, they really should do summer Oreos because... What do they have in between now and... And then maybe they're just replacing... They were supposed to be replacing Summer Oreos with Olympic Oreos. Which I would not be happy about. Because I love my seasonal flavors Oreos. Don't you mess with my season flavors. Do not mess with my seasonal Oreos. Man. Just disappointed. Very disappointed in the fact that they did not have spring ones. May not have summer ones. They better have summer ones. Because... We got a long time between tiramisu and when the Olympics was supposed to be. And if they're not even doing the Olympic Oreos at this point, then I don't know what the heck to think. Because, you know, that might be a long period before we get Oreos that are different. It might take, well, s'mores are, I think s'mores are coming back, which will be summertime. But that's still a long time. It's April. It'll probably be at least June, July until we get more Oreos, and I am freaking out, man. But as I cling on to tiramisu, knowing it'll be another couple months before we get another new Oreo flavor, or just assuming, I don't know anything, um, I don't know if I'm ready to review these. You know, I get, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Did Oreo change, Oreo change their packaging? As it seems. Uh, yeah, they changed their packaging. A little bit. Not too much. They just they elongated where it goes to. Where the seal goes to. So, But see, it just makes the whole thing open. What, what is up with you, Oreo? What? Oreo, you're so confusing. Wait. Is this... Do they, do they get rid of that? Don't tell me they got rid of the seal. The famous thing that was always good for Oreos. I have no clue. But I have a bad... Oh, what? What is going on here? I'm just having fun trying to open this thing. Not knowing... What? Is this... No? That's not sticking. I don't think. What is going on here? 
So as it seems, does it? I don't know. I don't. Goodness, I just messed up. Well, I don't know. That's really weird. I don't want to get used to that. I don't know how this is supposed to open. But I guess they changed the thing. So it no longer like, yeah, no longer seals. Now I need to go buy plastic bags. Anyways, I just wasted time just having complications with that. So, um, as you may know, this has two creams. It has the regular Fidella and then the tiramisu flavor. Or maybe it's just coffee flavor. I have no clue. But I'm going to bite into half of it, and then I'm going to eat the cream just by itself the, on the other half. So, here's the Oreo. There's the, the, the dough. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I don't like that to change the Oreo packaging. Do not like it. No. Bad Oreo. You are on my bad side today. All right, let's get this review done. It's very rich. I'm not sure what I think, though. So let's go ahead and take the cream and try it. I like it. To me, it's a really sweet taste in Oreo. Um, I don't know what to say. But it's really good. It's really sweet. Um, I'd say I prefer it to a regular Oreo, in my opinion. I'm going to have to eat another. This is not good for me, but I just need to know. I need to do research on tiramisu. Because I don't even know what it's supposed to taste like. When I had tiramisu um, shake from Dairy Queen... To me, I got a good coffee taste. This is not quite coffee, but this is still good. You know, it kind of is like eating higher-end cake icing um, between an Oreo, in my opinion. So, that would be better than what you'd get from their birthday cake flavor, for sure. Um, I like it. I don't really know how to describe it, unfortunately. Other than it's got, like, a good creamy taste. Very sweet taste. I wanted to say like I could taste some caramel, maybe. But it's really good. Definitely different than what you get get out of the tiramisu shake from Dairy Queen. But it's solid. It's enjoyable. And I guess you get maybe a little hint of that coffee taste. But it's it's good. Um... I don't want to oversell it. I don't want to undersell it. So, I'm going to give it an 8.5. 
I think an eight and a half is good. So, uh, that's all I got for y'all for today. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be out and about, um, going to try and get the Taco Bell, um, Flamin' Hot Taco, um, Doritos Taco Local. And, uh, then I'm going to try and finish up my cake shake reviews from Dairy Queen. And then I'll have one more thing to review, um, that I won't mention. But anyways, that's all I got for y'all for now, for today. Go ahead and give this video a like, a comment, and a share. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. And uh, I hope your day shines bright tomorrow. Because the day's over. But anyways, I will see y'all around. Don't miss me too much. But I will have plenty of things to talk about tomorrow. So, yep. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all around.